One of our biggest fears as dog parents is that our dog may find themselves involved in a dog fight and potentially getting very hurt. So how as dog parents can we help should we find ourselves in a situation where a dog is involved in a dog fight? I was talking to my vet a couple of weeks ago and she actually gave me an idea that I have not heard anybody talk about. So if you are someone who goes for a walk in the park and you're worried about dogs running up to you or if you're worried about your neighbor's dog or if you have dogs that fight inside of your house, this is going to be a really good tip for you. And then I have a secondary tip that will also be a really good fit for some people. So make sure you talk to your vet about things like this. Make sure you talk to dog trainers about things like this. They're going to have a lot of really great advice on when to insert yourself, how to get the dogs away from each other. If you're going to use something like one of those devices that plays that really loud horn sound to kind of frighten the dogs away, I am not speaking on those. That is not my area of expertise, but I do really like this tip. Go talk to the professionals on those. So what my vet told me to do is if you have dogs that are fighting or a dog that has attacked you, you should have a water bottle with you. And it needs to be one of those pop top ones, not necessarily, you You can use the ones with the screw off lids, but it's not gonna work nearly as well. You want ones with the pop top because when you squeeze the bottle, it's going to come out in a directed stream. And then you're going to spray it on the dog's faces. Whoever is fighting, those dogs get hosed down like a fire hose. You spray them in the face and that's gonna give you a few seconds of confusion. They're not gonna know what hit them, as they say. And they're gonna try to figure out why they're wet. What is hitting them in the face? What's going on? And they're going to break apart for a, a little bit so that you can safer, maybe not safely, but safer, get them away. This is going to break their fixation on each other so that you have an opportunity to try to handle this. So again, talk to your vet about this. Talk to dog trainers about this. This isn't necessarily something that you just want to willy-nilly try. But if you're someone who goes out to the park to walk your dogs, I'm about to, we're stepping into spring. So my girls went out last summer and fall with me, but it's been through winter that they haven't gone out. They're big dogs now. So this is going to be their first almost adult walks as we start to go back out this spring. And I'm going to be carrying water with me just in case people have their off leash dogs that aren't able to be recalled and anything happens. My mom actually went to our park and heard a really bad dog fight. So now I'm very nervous. Having that water there is going to give me a little more assurance and help me to be able to manage things a little bit better. Now, as a spinoff of that, I was having a conversation with some people in my life and we were trying to think, okay, if it makes sense to spray water in their face, and that breaks them up, what else can we do that potentially won't get everything all wet? So let's say you've got dogs that fight inside your house and you don't want to spray them and then get your couch wet and your furniture wet and your carpet wet and all of those things. So what's another alternative? This is my alternative. This is an air compressor. Now you've all seen those air compressor cans that you can you know, spray on your technology to remove all of the dust and then you just throw it away when you're done. This is a rechargeable one that I have for my technology. It kind of functions like a hairdryer. It kind of looks like a hairdryer. You charge it via a USB cord and it's rechargeable. So you never run out of the air. It's loud like a hairdryer, but it has a concentrated stream of air. So once you turn this on and it, this does take a little longer than grabbing a water bottle and spraying your dog because it has to, you have to hold that button down for it to turn on, which I am not going to do because I'm literal inches from my puppies right now and I don't want to scare them. But when you turn this on, it's going to take a, a second to kind of gear up and then it will shoot out that air. So if you take this and you turn it on near them and just spray them real quick in the face, this will also confuse them and knock them off kilter so that you can deal with whatever and it's not going to get the house all wet. So this is a really good option if you are in your house, if you want to keep this by your door so that your neighbor's dog leaves, all of those things. But that will help you to break up those fights and get in there to get the dogs away from each other should you find yourself in that situation, which I pray that you do not find yourself in that situation. If you have other tips for this, go ahead and drop it down below. And as always, you're checking with vets and you're checking with dog trainers before you do things. If you are experiencing these issues, if you're having issues with neighborhood dogs or your own dogs fighting or whatever it happens to be, talk to the professionals. These are just tips that my professional gave me that I'm giving to you so that you can then have conversations with your people as well. Uh, and it's definitely something I'm gonna be taking to the park with me as I am out and about with my puppies. 
because not everybody has good dog manners and should be dog parents. You know how it goes. We want to make sure we protect our pups as best as possible while we're out and about or inside of our home or wherever we happen to be. Grab an air compressor. This is dual functioning because it works for your technology. Getting things dusted off also helps you to dust off your home. Like if you don't want to dust your plants all the time, this is it. But you can also use this for your pup's safety as well. And follow along as we continue to help you navigate the world of being a dog parent so that you and your dog can live your best pup lifestyle. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.